What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we're gonna be checking out the brand new Oppo Find N3 Flip. Now Oppo was cool enough to sponsor today's video and get this out to us a little early. So I'm pretty pumped to see what's inside of here. Oppo's low key been killing the flip phone game for a few reasons and I'm gonna show you guys what, uh, but let's get to unboxing this thing first. Peel right here. Right off the bat, loving the fact that the box has the Hasselblad branding on it. So you know we'll get those good colors. But let's just take a look here. All right, so up top, obviously, we've got our N3 flip. Underneath it though, we get our 67 watt Super VOOC charger over here. And let's see, paperwork. Oh, this comes with a case in the box? That's nice. Cases and screen protectors. All right, that's, that's what we all need. And we got our C to A cable over here. But all right. This is the unboxing. Let's take a look at the phone. All right, so let's take our first look at it here. Okay, and we've got it in this cream gold color. This, oh, this feels nice. It's got like this fascinating design over here. Can you see that? Yeah, I see some pattern on there. It's like waves, yeah, kind of yeah, right. like multiple waves going around each other. Now on the right side, we've got our volume rockers over here power button with a fingerprint scanner. Left side, we've got our ringer switch. We also have USB-C that supports that crazy fast super VOOC charging and a dual SIM card slot, which we'll talk about later. Now check it out, you guys. On the back, we've got our large display and you know, that's kind of like the thing for these flip phones. I mean, we have this guy over here, cause obviously we're gonna we got to compare it to, I guess, the most popular flip phone right now. Uh, we've got the Galaxy Z Flip. So I'm going to go ahead, power this thing on and kind of show you guys what it's like to actually have a big old screen on the back of your phone. All right, you guys, so check it out. This is our front cover. And if you're familiar with the Z Flip, it's a little bit different compared to this guy. Now, this is a vertical screen versus a horizontal screen. With the vertical screen, it feels more like the standard format that we're used to, especially when it comes to like using apps. So right under your clock, you can go ahead and add a few widgets. Uh, but once you swipe over, you get access to what they call mini apps. So within these mini apps, you pretty much get a similar experience to just that of having like your phone open. So if I wanted to go over to Twitter, you can pretty much see everything just like you would scrolling through a Twitter feed on a normal device. Now this is awesome because if you wanna interact with a post, you can just go ahead and do anything that you would typically do right from the front of your screen. Like I said, they've got a few of these mini apps, so for you young folks out there, if you wanna jump on like TikTok, Bro, it's for kids. you can go ahead and do that too. Does oh. it feel high resolution? Yeah, no, I mean, this is as clean as you, you'd want. <laughs> now you can get a full app experience here, but you don't really have that ability on the Z Flip. On the Z Flip, I think there's like a set number of apps. Okay, so while we're on the coverage, we gotta talk about like one of the craziest things about this phone, and that's the fact that it has a triple camera system. This is the first flip phone with a triple cam. Are we saying flip phone? Is it flip camera, like flip smartphone? What are people saying? Flip phone, right? Because the, the old flip phones aren't even relevant anymore. So. I don't know any old flip phones. So anyway, this is the first flip phone with a triple camera system over here. So you know what that means. You get your ultra wide, your wide, your telephoto lens. And that telephoto lens is what you typically don't find on something like this. But let me just show you guys what it's like to actually use this thing, what kind of pictures you'll get out of it. This of course has that Hasselblad color science. So let's see what that's all about. So with this being a triple camera system, we've got a 50 megapixel main camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 32 megapixel telephoto. And right off the bat, we were able to get some really nice photos out of this. The shots came out with some pretty natural looking colors and overall was pretty visually pleasing. The standout feature here though is definitely having access to that telephoto lens with that two times zoom so you can get really nice portrait shots of people. And when you're in that portrait mode with the two times zoom, it actually mimics the bokeh effect of the Hasselblad XCD 65 millimeter lens. So if you've ever been after that look, you kind of get it here. This lens also sets the N3 flip apart from the Z Flip 5 and allows you to get the best quality out of your two times zoom 
since it doesn't digitally zoom in on the image to achieve the look that the Z Flip does. What's also pretty sick here is that the ultra wide sensor is a staggering 100% larger than the flip phone competition, so it definitely gets some points for that. And you can also do some like pretty cool things like taking selfies with the cover screen without having to touch the phone at all, or even let people you're taking a photo of get a view of what the actual shot will look like so they can fix anything they may not like in real time. And I'll of course have to spend more time with this phone to really assess everything that this camera can do. But as of right now, I am really liking it. All right, so we checked out a lot of stuff on the back of the phone, but now we gotta talk about what's up front. So what we're looking at is a 6.8 inch AMOLED folding display, obviously, uh, but it also has a high dynamic refresh rate of up to 120 Hertz. So you can get between one to 120 Hertz. If you have it on the auto mode, it'll automatically detect the best frame rate depending on what you're doing. So you can better conserve battery life while still getting that buttery smooth movement. Now, something that Apple introduced with the Find N2 is the invisible crease. And we still have that here, where while you're using the phone, you just can't see a crease. They did a really good job at hiding it. Now, if you're looking for it, sure, you'll find it, but in normal everyday use, it looks so, so good. Compared to something like the Z Flip, they haven't really solved that just yet. This is extremely noticeable. So Apple actually improved upon the hinge here. So this Flexion hinge is what they call it, and it provides like this gapless design so you can't see anything that means it is completely sealed uh, it actually has an ipx4 rating so splashes and that kind of thing aren't just gonna kill this phone and this thing is supposed to be able to withstand 600,000 of those and that's kind of crazy because i think that equates to about 16 years of usage yeah Chances are you probably won't see this thing break from normal usage. Now this is a polarizer free design and it's completely meant to be taken outdoors and used with sunglasses. So if you have some sunglasses and you're using your phone screen, you don't have to worry about that weird rainbowy effect that you'll see on your display. You're not gonna see that here. So now I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there curious about the specs. So we'll throw those up. You guys know us, we're not crazy spec heads over here, but one spec that I think almost everybody can really sink their teeth into is of course the battery life. So this thing has a 4,300 milliamp hour battery, uh, which is really solid for a flip phone. To put in perspective, this thing's got a 3,700 milliamp hour battery. So you can see that's a pretty big difference. Not to mention charging speeds. Uh, this thing can support up to 44 watts of Oppo Super VOOC charging. This guy's got 25 watts of charging, so 25 versus 44. Super VOOC charging is crazy fast. I think this thing can get from zero to 58% in just about 30 minutes. And the charger that it comes with, I mean, we saw it, 67 watts here. So you'll definitely hit that 44 with no problem. Now, right next to the charger, we've got the dual SIM card slot. It also supports dual 5G. So you know what that means. You can have up to two different SIM cards in here for somebody who travels a lot. You're gonna be able to take this thing on the go, go to different countries, maybe somewhere you frequent a lot. I wish I could say Japan for myself. And you have multiple SIM card slots, you get how that works. Whereas with this, the only way you get that dual SIM action is if you go to a country that supports eSIM. But I'm gonna spend more time with this thing, but like I said, a lot of the things that this thing is able to do, we're not seeing anywhere else and I am all for that. Of course, if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out yourself, I'm gonna have it linked down below in the description. But you guys let me know what you think of this thing so far. Apple's been doing a crazy job when it comes to the flip phone and foldable market, so I'm excited for this. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. and catch you guys in the next one. Uh, but till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. I still love being able to answer a call like this. Talk to me.